Coming up on Around Kern County, we're showcasing a special program designed to make our workforce as efficient as possible. We're sharing details on Launch Kern and how it's saving taxpayers time and money. And another investment has been made to improve quality of life for residents. A look at our latest park project in Rosamond when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're beginning today by spotlighting a special program within our organization known as Launch Kern. Launch Kern empowers our employees to change the way government works by improving their work environment, saving taxpayer dollars, and enhancing services to residents. Once an employee is hired to work with Kern County now, they are provided with an online course in the first month or so after starting employment. And we, since that time, we've enrolled over 400 employees into an introductory Lean Six Sigma course called Problem Solving Yellow Belt. And upon completion, all of these employees ascertain their yellow belt. Our very first Launch Kern Day event was held back in June, where nine teams of county employees gathered to find solutions to problems within their daily work environment in order to make services better and faster for customers. It definitely makes me look at things differently. I want to be able to um, streamline processes for our department, find ways to reduce cost and waste. Um, so I definitely look at things in a more effective way and a way to really try to serve our customers better. Child Support Services has done an amazing job at really focusing on different ways to reduce waste and processes in our department. Uh, we have success successfully completed several projects with uh, Lean Six Sigma and we've been able to streamline those processes so that our customers internally and externally are saving time, money, and really we're able to provide them with great customer service so that at the end of the day they get exactly what they need, they're in and out and they're not having to wait on processes that take longer than usual. Launch Kern is part of Kern County's continuous improvement initiative based on the principles of Lean Six Sigma. When someone is hired within our workforce, they're enrolled in Lean Six Sigma training to ensure everyone within our organization has the professional development tools to meet our county goals for excellence and efficacy. I believe it invests in the employee's future. It gives us um, hope that the county is striving to make a better work environment for all the employees, as well as be more efficient for the uh, taxpayer. If you'd like to learn more about Launch Kern and see how many projects we've completed, taxpayer dollars and hours we've saved, and employees trained thanks to this strategic initiative, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. Our next Launch Kern Day will be taking place in October, and we'll be sure to keep you posted on all of the innovative solutions we achieve during the workshop. Kern County leaders have been visiting unincorporated areas throughout our community to host educational workshops about Measure K. Measure K is Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure. If enacted, it would establish a one cent locally dedicated and controlled sales tax in unincorporated Kern County only to address community priorities such as public safety, homelessness, attracting jobs and industries, and addressing mental health and addiction challenges. Unincorporated residents will consider this resolution and ordinance on the November 8, 2022 ballot. And our Chief Operations Officer Jim Zervis is here, breaking down the ballot measure language and why Measure K is described as a transaction and use tax. If you look at the title and summary to Measure K, the Public Safety Vital Services Local Control Measure for unincorporated Kern County, um, it's described accurately as a sales tax, a one cent increase in the local sales tax in the unincorporated area. If you look at the ordinance and resolution itself, it refers to it as a transaction and use tax, which makes it sound a little broader than it is. But that's the technical term used in state law for how these taxes are enacted. But if you dig into state law and understand how they define the term transaction and use, it's much narrower. In fact, it's really what we refer to commonly as a sales tax. 
meaning it's a tax on tangible personal property. It doesn't apply to things like real estate, that's not tangible personal property. It doesn't apply to income. It doesn't apply to you know, rental income, security purchases, any kind of service purchases. So that term transaction in use that we see in state law at, at face value seems overly broad, like it may apply to all these other things. Is it gonna to apply to inheritance or if I sell my home? Um, and the fact is it doesn't, that's just the technical term used. This is really a sales tax and all the same rules that apply to state sales tax as we know it now, as it applies now in Kern County, would apply to Measure K as well. Chief Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop, Chief Operations Officer Jim Zervis, Sheriff Johnny Youngblood, District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer, and Fire Chief Aaron Duncan have more workshops coming up. They'll be in Old Stockdale Tuesday, September 20th, Frazier Park Wednesday, September 21st, Boron Wednesday, September 28th, and the Mexican Colony South Shafter area on Thursday, September 29th. To view more upcoming workshops, both in person and virtual, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. If there's one thing that matters to us here at Kern County, it's providing a high quality of life for our residents. This week, during our board meeting, supervisors approved a contract for the Jim Williford Park pool deck and restroom remodel project in Rosamond. This $1.7 million investment will provide this community with needed recreational upgrades throughout the park, including new restrooms, parking areas, walking paths, and the resurfacing of the pool. This will create a state-of-the-art, free, and beautiful space for Rosamond children and families to enjoy. As a reminder, we're just one day away from Kern County's inaugural Career Expo. This Saturday, September 17th, join us from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at our administrative building located at 1115 Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield. Our dozens of departments will be on hand, offering on-the-spot interviews, free professional development workshops, and more. From public safety to finance to marketing, there's a place for you and your unique skills on our team. Ahead of tomorrow's event, fill out an application early so we can get you employed right away. Visit kerncounty.com careers and fill out our Career Expo limited duration opportunities form. As public servants, our nearly 8,000 employees dedicate their time to making our community a better, safer place. If you're looking for a meaningful career where you can make an impact, then look no further than right here at Kern County. To view all job openings and to apply, again, please visit our website, kerncounty.com careers. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.